Hey yo everyone, it is the Loki Monster here and in today's update we have Earth Day 2024. Now if you haven't done any of the Earth Day quests before, you will have to do them before you'll be able to do this quest. Now I do have videos on that and I will include some links to them in the description. Now the NPC for this is very tricky for, to find. You're going to be looking all over the bridge. You may not see the forest for the tree. Yes, the tree in the corner. You want to come over to this tree in the corner and speak to read and here you can click on a plea from the woods to travel straight to the Heartwood Grotto. And then we're going to come down and talk to the heart of the forest himself. And when we click on him, we're seeing a plea from the woods. Now, if you haven't done a quiet place, you will have to do that quest, like I said. So, the voice of the forest says, Greetings, Loki monsters. Thanks for heeding my call. Though the urgency weighs heavily on these ancient boughs, our beloved lore has fallen ill, and this very earth below us has become tainted. Even the soil, once vibrant, now scarred by darkness, I feel her pain resonate through my roots. So he tells us of a guardian named Tremenor that lives within the forest of Heartwood that can maybe solve this problem. <laughs> so we're going to head out to Heartwood Forest in order to find him. Now I have sped this up a lot and I'm going to cut out a quite a bit. I'm not going to show you where every single one of the locations you're going to have to click on during this quest is because you really do just simply have to follow your quest arrow in the upper right hand corner and it will take you to all the locations you want. So it's going to lead us all the way down here to our third location for searching for Tremenor. So now that we follow the trail to Tremenor, you find this very suspicious looking weird rocks here. And you'll find three piles of rocks here. You just want to click on them for the mossy rocks for the quest. Now, I was climbing up these rocks and that is really frustrating for me. I'm not very good at that. But um, you don't actually have to, I discovered right here. So don't waste your time trying to climb on the rocks. You can just click on them. And then we're just going to click on the rock here and turn it in. And then we're going to activate the summoning rocks and the final summoning rock. So what we want to do here is simply click on the rocks again. And this actually takes a little while to summon though. This is really sped up too. <laughs> and then we're going to click on him in the center. I actually had to zoom in to get the one in the center to work. And believe it or not, that is sped up. It is really slow. And he awakens. I actually thought we might have been in for a little fight, but no, he just has awoken. You have awoken me, child of lore. It appears the taint that has spread across her land has taken its toll on me, has it rendered me inert. Thank you for freeing me. You say the heart of the forest sent you? Then we have much to do. I will meet you there at the grotto. So we're going to head back to the heart of the forest and talk to the voice of the forest to turn this in. Temper may have fallen to corruption. This is dire news. I fear that other elementals across our realm may have fallen to the same fate. So we're just going to turn that in. Then we get a new quest. Speak with Tremor to travel to Arkengrove Forest and purify the earth with Tremor's might. So we're just going to um, go over to Tremor who is sitting right here and we're going to click on Arkengrove Forest and once you get to Arkengrove Forest again you're going to click on these little sparkles that your quest arrow in the upper right hand corner will lead you to. Once you've found all of them, return to Tremator and gone him to return to the Heartwood Grotto and speak the voice of Forest to turn that in and we get another quest. And now this one is going to send us to the Sand Sea Desert to purify the sand air. So again, you're getting to use Tremor Tremor here. I'm not quite sure if I'm saying his name right to travel there. Now, if you are a low level player, note that if you haven't been to Sand Sea, the heat of the desert will harm you. So you might want to have your health potions handy so you can do this without dying at all. So once you have them all again, return to 
the heartwood grotto to turn that in and then we get one more this time we're going to the isle of the dead and we're going to cleanse skulls i don't know sure what skulls have to do with earth but we're going to again click on click on tremator and this time travel to the isle of the dead then we're going to click on these um piles of skulls here now with um this place this is the only area that there are going to be mobs that will aggro if you get near them so just be aware that you might have to get rid of a couple mobs now the big skull pile is this one here which means you don't actually have to do these in any specific order as long as you see the sparkle and the arrows pointing there towards you then it will still count for towards yours now once you have them all we're going to return okay get rid of this guy <laughs> to tremator and then back to the heartwood grotto now we're here, we're just going to turn this in, and we have triumphed over darkness that has struck down our world, and Tremator is returned to the depth of Heartwood Forest, and the other elementals will regain their strength in time. Now this is a choose your reward quest, and I was like, oh Nia, how do I choose, how do I choose? Well, I'm going to make this really simple for you. Choose the globe of lore. Now, I was hemming in Holland, and then I finally decided, I tried to see if I could preview them, and I couldn't. Um, you know, you think, oh, I really want, a, um, you know, a blade or a staff. Well, you want the globe, and the reason you want the globe is, and I'll show you this now in the trove. So, we're... So we're going to go to the trove by clicking on a quiet place and then the earth day trove when we go to the trove you see oh they're all unlocked for us so we do get the helm and the staff and the blade with the trove but no look at the globe of lore it will cost you not zero gold like the rest of them it's going to cost you 400 stone Currently, you can only get 25 stone a day. That's 16 days for 400 stone to buy a globe. So you definitely don't want to make the mistake and not pick the globe. So you also earn a title. So we'll bring up our character page and then the pen in the corner. And down in the questing section, you'll find the title Earthen Protector. So I'm just going to click on that and apply it to equip that title so we have the twisted vine blade that you can get here as well as the vine staff and also the twisted vine helm now like i said all these will automatically be added to your trove which means free storage with hootenanny at the bank that you can get these anytime you want now i wanted to show you the global lore but unfortunately it's bugged on mobile you can only own five in total and i suspect that it looks a lot like this globe right here that's in lore masters hazel's lodge that's in the town of Babylon. now whether it's going to interact and be a travel uh globe like this is that i can't tell you until it is fixed but that'd be super cool if there was now there are also some dc earth items that you can get now the new one this year is lore's protector which is this one here this hammer with a spinning globe in it which might explain the very costly price of a thousand dc for this weapon now we also have the earth dragon and the heavy earth dragon he is quite expensive all the heavy ones are expensive and we have the silver sword this willow hander and the earth cleaver as well i want to thank you for joining me and if you like my videos please hit that thumbs up and subscribe every little bit helps i'll see you next time Bye bye